Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today, we're going to update you on the police phone call. So if you haven't already seen our first video about the mail we got from China and we got mail from India, the mail from China was very suspicious, didn't have the sender's name on it, had kind of an address but not a full address on it, and it said there were earrings inside. And we never received anything like this, so we called the police. Plus, we never ordered it. Yes. Not only have we not ordered anything from China, if you've been watching our channel for a while, um, this just happened to show up in our mailbox. And so we called the police, and they came over and investigated and started a case file on it. Um, he also let us know that there was somebody else in the neighborhood who had also been talking out against COVID-19. Um, who also received similar mail. It said it was socks and it was actually a face mask. So if you haven't seen the video with the police at our door, um, please go check that out. But this was really concerning to us. Not only are we a family, not only do we, I mean, we talk about stuff on this channel in favor of India because we love India. The kids are half Indian. It's to support India, good or bad. We yeah. don't always agree. You guys don't always agree with us. We don't always agree with India. But this is this was our reason for starting this channel. And we've been speaking out against China's Communist Party because we don't agree with how they're treating their people. Not at all. We don't agree with how they're treating the world. And it's just devastating. And so then to have this package show up at our door and no real sender and the police come and open it and it's not what it says is inside so not only yeah. have we heard on the news like trump saying you know they don't follow patents they don't follow treaties they violate this they violate that then we get this package in the mail and it's just like yeah everything that has been said is true you know you say one thing on the package something completely different inside and like we said, we're a family channel. We do speak out against stuff that we think is wrong, but we promote peace on this channel. Peace with everybody, no matter race, religion, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from. Yeah. We want people to have freedom of speech. The people in China are being silenced left and right. This is not okay for us. This is why we have this channel is freedom of speech. So this was really concerning for us, and um, we're going to let you hear what the, the police said when they called us back after they went back to the station and um, checked some things out. So yeah. we're going to start it up. The postmaster at the Post Office. Okay. They will uh, forward it on to the postal inspectors to uh, look into it a little further. Uh, from what I was told there by some of the people to counter, they have had several other people come in recently that have received packages from China that uh, just odd things. They said one guy had a single mail that was in a package for some reason. Hmm. You know, there's, there's no rhyme or reason behind it. Uh, so they're going to look into it. I actually did with the uh, Google Lens it indicates that those are bonsai seeds. And looking at the bonsai seeds online there, it looks like that's exactly what they are. So, okay. Uh, but they will uh, look into it a little further with the postal inspectors. And they said that uh, usually the postal inspectors will stop by or call you just as a follow up, touch base with you in regards to the package. So. I wanted to give you a heads up that you may be uh, they, they said that uh, yeah, this year aware that they may be calling you in the future here. Okay. So, but that's where it's at right now. We'll have a report on file on if anything else uh, comes of it. Uh, the one girl at the post office did recommend she said that they see periodically where it's credit card frauds Okay. where they will start an account for something using your information and they'll order something small, 
but the odd thing is it's not a package of earrings there. If it had actually been earrings, I would probably go with that scenario and say, you know, it's a possibility they order something small to see if they're successful, and then they go on a shopping spree. Right. And, uh, you know, since the package doesn't contain what it is alleged to contain, that seems unlikely that that's the case, but she did recommend that, uh, you know, just for peace of mind, to check your credit report, make sure there's nothing abnormal on there, no new credit cards that you're not aware of, or that type of thing. But, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, do you... Th- so right now you don't know until you, we hear from the postal. You don't think it's threatening, or you think it's more random? No, and I, I don't think it's anything threatening. It's just no explanation for it at this point. Okay. You know, like I said, it's you know from what uh, one of the folks there at the post office said, they've had several other. And I told you I just had one last week where a gentleman received a package that said it contained socks. It didn't fact did not contain socks right and you know we thought well maybe it's you know they want you to call this company and when you call this phone number you're going to connect to somebody that's going to ask you for credit card numbers or something fishing for information or you know try to get your social security number or that kind of thing right so you know they spent 50 cents or whatever to mail stuff out randomly and try to get you to call in to say, what is this? And yeah, like a scam. But, yeah, but it, it, I don't know. Once I get back to the office, I'll try the uh, phone number that was on the package there just to see if I can connect to anybody. And, you know, we tried it with the package last week, and we weren't able to come up with it. It wasn't a legitimate phone number. We weren't able to connect, connect with anybody. We tried different country codes area codes nothing seemed to work so we'll try it with this one as well and see if we can get anywhere with it strange random occurrence okay all right well thank you for calling and um yeah definitely keep us posted if you find anything or hear any more okay will do all right thank you all right you have a good day you too Bye. bye so We were happy to hear back from the police and so glad we called them because we are not the only people in the neighborhood that got this. Not the only people. Um, You know, not quite agreeing with him on, you know, it might be a scam. That's always a possibility, but it's just really strange to us that the only two people on this street that got it in our neighborhood were the people who were speaking out against coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Um, And the other one was a vet. And we're the only other people. He's been on TV. We've been on YouTube um, talking against COVID, talking against uh, the Communist Party. So that to us really feels like it was a target. Yeah. You know, we got, we have no idea what it is. It, it honestly could be drugs. I have no idea. We have no idea how they got daddy's name or our address. Yeah, our home address, my husband's name, and it came to our house only like, you know, a few weeks after we've been talking about the coronavirus and the Communist Party, like, it just, there's too many links to it. You know, if he hadn't told me that, um, you know, the officer was talking about against coronavirus on TV, and this is what we've been doing here, like, how we don't agree with it, the numbers don't match, China needs to be accountable, all these things that we've been saying... He's been on TV saying similar stuff, and all of a sudden, we're the only two people in this neighborhood that get suspicious packages from China. His confirmed, yeah. they sent him a mask, which I would be freaking out if it was a I mask. I would not wear that. I would legitimately throw it out. Yeah, well, he called the police, which is what yeah. he was supposed to do. And anybody else, if you get anything that looks suspicious that came from China, please hand it over to the police. You'd rather them open it up and check it out and make sure it's okay before you open anything that you're not sure about you know this is why we did this because for one it was suspicious never happened to us before and two we didn't order it yeah and we didn't order anything and like we said like this channel we're a family channel this is what aggravates me so much is like If you're trying to threaten us, you're threatening a school teacher with three small children. Like, I don't know 
why you think silencing us this the reason we live in the united states is it's a democracy we have freedom of speech to get up on this platform and say what we feel we feel like you're not doing right to your people and you're not doing right to the rest of the world. That's our freedom of speech. You don't like it, don't listen to us. You don't like it, start your own channel. Like and tell us what you think is good. But this is what we feel here. And that is our freedom of speech here in the United States of America. So, and in India, same thing, democracy, democracy, democracy. And I know some of you guys have been concerned about us, but here in the US, we have the Second Amendment, and so we are armed and ready. Hopefully it won't come to that. We hope that the police will take care of it, find out who sent it, and take care of the situation for us. But if not, we are armed and ready and prepared. You know, layers and layers and layers. We talk the same thing to India, you know. I know it's a hard thing to think about, but get the manufacturing in, get the people trained so that you have layers and layers and layers of protection. The right people have yeah. to be trained. You know, the, the police officer that showed up my door, I guarantee you he knew how many guns we had in our house, what my name was, my husband's name, probably all the children's names. He might have even known our dog's names. Like, they know that stuff before they ring that doorbell, before he, I even open that door. Um, that is the difference. So yeah. don't worry about us. Um, angry about this. So angry about this. Um, we are not going to be silenced. And, um, and so, but we'll keep you posted when he calls us back or the post office calls us back and lets us know where it came from, what the packages really was, even though it looked like seeds. Who knows what those seeds were. Yeah. Um, and, and what we're going to do about it. If somebody here in the U.S., they're going to get filed against. If it's somebody in China, well, we're kind of um, at odds end because nobody can get into China right now yeah. um, to get them to take so credit, someone needs take to responsibility investigate. for them. Yeah, they don't let anybody take responsibility in China, no. so we're not going to worry about that. But um, I hope you guys like this update. We'll keep you posted and let you know. But like we said, we're safe, we're ready, we're prepared, and yeah. we'll hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.